I've always wondered whether Pokemon Go's native refresh rate feature affects the game's catch mechanics. Today, we're going to find out. Native refresh rate is a setting inside of Pokemon Go's advanced settings, described as providing smoother and more responsive visuals. Basically, this feature makes the game run at a much higher frame rate. Depending on your phone, it may run at 60 or even 120 frames per second, compared to the game's default of 30 frames per second. My phone, an Android Pixel 6, displays 60 frames per second when native refresh rate is on, even though the Pixel 6 actually has a maximum refresh rate of 90Hz. The game looks significantly smoother when playing with native refresh rate enabled, and after I became used to it, the game feels painfully slow without the setting turned on. But some players report some notable differences in gameplay due to native refresh rate. First, some players feel that throwing feels different. Second, many players believe that Buddy Catch Assist has a lower chance of triggering a nice, great, or excellent when native refresh rate is enabled. Lastly, there have been some bugs recently with 120Hz native refresh rate, but I won't discuss that here. We'll also leave the Buddy Catch Assist question for another video, and focus our investigation on how native refresh rate might affect throwing mechanics. Subjectively, I also feel that throwing feels a little bit different, but I'm really not sure. The dramatic subjective difference in visuals with native refresh rate on and off may give the impression of a difference where there is none. Welcome to the excellent Pokédex. In this video, we will analyze native refresh rate's effect on throwing. Please subscribe if you want to see more nerdy videos like this one. First, let's discuss a method for comparing throw mechanics with native refresh rate on and off. I think a good way to do this is to compare release points for successful excellent throws. The idea is that if the method for throwing is significantly altered by native refresh rate, then the release points of successful excellent throws should be changed as well. Since there is quite a bit of variation in possible release points, we should compare a large number of throws for each Pokémon. I ended up evaluating four different Pokémon, hitting up to 10 excellent throws on each with native refresh rate disabled and enabled. The Pokémon I tested are Machop, which has a relatively short, fairly imprecise throw, Mankey, which has a medium, somewhat precise throw, Poliwag, which has a medium, somewhat precise throw, and Abra, which has a long, somewhat precise throw. Let's have a look at the results, starting with Machop. On the left are the results with native refresh rate disabled. All of the release points for excellent throws are annotated with pink circles. On the right are the results with native refresh rate enabled. All of the release points for excellent throws are annotated with blue circles. If we overlap these images, we can see how the release points compare. In this case, we see that the excellent throw release points basically overlap. There doesn't seem to be much difference from Machop. Next, let's look at Mankey with the same setup. If we overlap these images, we see that the release points still overlap, though not quite as nicely as for Machop. There definitely isn't a huge difference here either. Now, let's look at Poliwag. If we overlap these images, we see that once again the release points cluster in about the same spot, although it appears the native refresh disabled points in pink are much more tightly clustered. Probably a coincidence. Once again, there doesn't seem to be a huge difference. Finally, let's look at Abra. If we overlap these images, we see that the two clusters of release points are close together, but unlike in the other cases, there does seem to be a noticeable difference in where the points are clustered. It appears that the non-native refresh rate points are further up and to the left, closer to the edge of the screen. However, there is still a large overlap. I'm genuinely not sure whether this indicates there is a difference or not. I conclude from these experiments that if there is a difference in throwing caused by native refresh rate, it is a very minor one. Subjectively, I also noticed that my throw technique didn't have to be adjusted much, if at all, when switching back and forth between native and non-native refresh rates for this experiment. I didn't notice a huge difference in throwing. Despite its negative result, I hope this video was interesting, and provides some actual evidence to look at when discussing the impact of native refresh rate. Thanks for watching. To see the rest of the excellent Pokédex, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.